the more I play Deus Ex Human Revolution, the more I realize that Elon Musk is just some kind of very, very badly written kind of sci-fi evil dude. That's what it is, some sci-fi businessman. It's... Elon Musk is very... Would you say he's like Lex Luthor? If he's Lex Luthor, can we just have Henry Cavill actually be Superman? That would work. I'd take that. I'd get behind that. Henry Cavill is working on his Warhammer show, without a doubt. I'm pretty sure uh, half the budget has already been spent on models and paint. Don't insult Lex Luthor. Elon Musk is definitely the villain. It's very hard to not see a billionaire as a villain. Which is weird, because you've got Batman being a good billionaire, who then just dresses up in a bat and beats people up. Whenever you, Is it just me that started getting those shorts on YouTube of some guy explaining the plots of random esoteric comics? Because my, my YouTube shorts feed is very specific. It's people firing guns, old guns, loading them up, and a g how many people have been obsessed with, is his name Ryan? The guy that puts things in whiskey or vodka or gin for a week or until something happens? Please tell me that I'm not the only person that's just gone through those. As soon as one of those popped up and is like, I'm putting Swedish fish in vodka for a week, I'm like, mate, I'm on board. Subscribe. Done. Let me watch every single one of your videos. He puts squid in rum for a week and nearly died. Uh, oh, man. Tell you what, when I saw that. This is... This is what I was saying about like a cultural zeitgeist. YouTube brings us together like evening TV used to do. I love victory. I can see what you just put in the chat and I'm going to say it now. The Skibbity Toilet Saga has better pacing than the Marvel Universe, without a doubt. You know, I watched the first couple of videos and I'm like, oh, this is just a bit silly. And then characters got involved and then a war happened, and then you've got both sides kind of pulling back. You're winning in one, losing in the other. Massive Titan gets taken down, new Titan appears, someone else gets taken down, the TV heads appear. I'm like, I am fully invested in this. As soon as I see a new skibbity toilet thing pop up, I'm like, I'm watching this for the cinematography. I'm watching it for the characterization. I'm watching it for the tropes. I am actually quite invested in who's going to win this saga. It's, it's very well, I mean, like, perfect example. Dean says Red vs. Blue, the old Halo thing, was written better than most TV shows. It is. It really is. It's nice to see your stream, but I have to go watch this toilet thing now. It doesn't get good until, like, five or six episodes in, but thankfully every episode's about 20 seconds long. So you don't have to commit that long to it. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged is better than Yu-Gi-Oh! And I freaking love Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, I really do.